a decadent dessert with a hot molten core. In this video, we'll show you how to make a fast and easy chocolate lava cake. The traditional way or filled with your favorite jam or nut butter. To make the batter, we are using the most foolproof method, a double broiler. A double broiler is nothing more than placing a mixing bowl over a pot of hot water and then using the heat from the pot to melt our butter and dark chocolate. We recommend at least 70% dark chocolate for the best taste. If you can find Nacional chocolate from Ecuador, that is made from the best chocolate in the world. Another delicious variety of chocolate is the Criollo of Venezuela, that of the Mayan and Aztecs. It was for that reason also the first cacao imported to Europe. Check the video description for our chocolate recommendations. And now we add the sugar. And as you can see, the sugar isn't yet dissolved, but it will be as soon as we've beaten in our egg. A little bit of flour. Now's the time to taste, to see if it has enough sugar for your taste. We prefer ours less sweet. We beat three large eggs and combine them with the rest of our ingredients. To make sure that the eggs don't coagulate, we just mix them over the hot water for about 30 seconds and then continue mixing off the heat. And look at this. Our cake batter is homogenous and velvety. The sugar is melted and the smell is incredible. All that is left to do is to transfer our chocolate lava cake batter to their molds. You can use a nonstick muffin pan, aluminum forms like these, or even a ceramic ramekin. But our favorite form for this cake is silicone. This is a new kind of silicone called elastomol that is very flexible. Using this mold, it's a joy to remove the muffins after baking. As always, check the video description for the product that we are using here. We're using this form. If you use one of the other options, be sure to butter and sugar the inside of the form to prevent the lava cakes from sticking. Add the cake batter any way that you like. We think a sac au poche is easiest. A simple pastry bag. For our traditional chocolate lava cakes, we just fill the mold completely with the chocolate batter. Here we are making two extra special versions. We are making one with a center of thick sour cherry jam. By filling the mold halfway with the batter, adding our jam just to the center, and filling it the rest of the way with the batter. You can also mix a tablespoon of the cake batter with some jam and use that to fill the center as well. You can use any type of jam as long as it is at least this thick and has a border of the batter. 
For our other special chocolate lava cake, we are filling our center with pistachio butter. You can use peanut butter or even chocolate hazelnut butter instead. Chocolate lava cakes are easy to make. The baking temperature is the most critical factor. The secret for a perfect lava cake is a brief bake at a medium-high temperature. This way, the outside is completely solid, while the inside remains soft and molten. For a perfect lava cake, as you see here, the eggs inside should never exceed 163 degrees Fahrenheit. Our work is done, and it is into the oven. At 410 degrees Fahrenheit, fan for eight minutes, or use a static oven and bake the lava cakes for about nine minutes. Again, timing is critical for getting that molten core. Even a minute more makes the difference between a truly molten center and one that is just moist. Every oven is slightly different, so you'll need to experiment with yours to find the perfect timing. Leave the baked lava cakes in the molds for about a minute before trying to get them out. This will help to prevent them from being too fragile to extract. Ready to impress. Note how the outside is firm and a touch crispy. And of course, we're going to open one immediately. Turn them upside down to make them look more like little volcanoes. Who can resist a chocolate lava cake like this? Serve it immediately and enjoy when that molten core is at its best. Let's try another. So easy to get out. I think this is the cherry and chocolate. Oh yeah, what a combination. And finally, we'll try our pistachio one. Fantastic. And now we'll eat all four of them. And while we do, don't forget to subscribe to the Piatto Recipes channel, click the bell, and let us know in the comments how your chocolate lava cakes turn out.